and welcome to this video all about how to use the West Berkshire Libraries app. The West Berkshire Libraries app allows you to access a range of different library services wherever you are. We'll have a look in detail about all of the services on the app in this video. To start using the app, you first need to download it to your device. If you're using an Android device, this can be done through the Google Play Store. If you're using an Apple device, this can be done through the App Store. Once you've downloaded the app, you can open it and start using it straight away. When you first open the app, you'll see the home screen, which has a range of different options that are available for you to access. We'll have a look at each of those options in a minute. If you're using a phone device, as shown here, there may be more options available on a second page. You can access these by swiping from right to left on your screen and then left to right to go back to the first page. If you're using a tablet device, all the options may appear on the same page due to the larger screen on your device. On this main homepage, you'll notice that one of the features is a scrolling bestseller books collection. These are a selection of books that have been pulled straight from our website and are updated regularly. They show you which top best-selling books are in stock in the library right now. Under the bestseller collection, you'll see that the first option is called My Account. This will allow you to view your library card details, your loans, your active reservations, as well as allowing you to make renewals and link other library cards. If you click on My Account, it will first prompt you to sign in on the right hand side of your screen. If you click Sign In, it will take you to a second page where you can type in your borrower number and PIN. Your borrower number is the long number under the barcode on your library card. Your four digit PIN is a number you chose when you joined the library and is linked to your account. Once you've typed in both those numbers, you can click log in and it will take you back to the home page. This time you'll be logged in with your details. At the bottom of the home page now, you'll see the My Barcode feature. This allows you to view your library card number and your barcode at any time. If you tap back on My Account, you'll see that your details are now on there. Any active loans and reservations you have will be visible here, as well as any charges on your account. Please note that you cannot pay charges through this library's app. If you'd like to pay charges, you can do that via our website or by visiting your local library. Also here in our My Account details, you can see an option called Linked Accounts. This is a really useful feature that allows you to link library cards together on the app. This is particularly helpful if you're using the same device to monitor multiple accounts such as children's or care dependents cards. If you click on that option, it will allow you to enter the details for another account. Just click add at the top of the screen and enter the borrower number and pin for the secondary card. Once you've entered their details as well, your accounts will be linked together and their account will be visible alongside yours under the My Account option. Underneath Linked Accounts, there's also the option to set some preferences. These can be set according to how you prefer to use the app. You've got the option to click and drag to rearrange the icon order on the home page. If you'd prefer these to be in a different order, you can simply rearrange them according to your liking. You've also got the possibility of changing the home page layout. At the moment, it's set to flow, which means you can swipe right to left and left to right to see further options. If you'd like to change that to scroll, simply add that into preferences and reload the home page. You'll see that this time, instead of swiping from right to left to see further options, you can just scroll down on the home page. 
Again, these can be set according to your own personal preferences and how you'd like to use the app. Let's have a look at some of the other options on the homepage under My Account. The next option is Library News. This is where you can go to visit our social media pages for the latest library news updates and also view the newest version of our monthly library newsletter. Clicking on any option here will redirect you to the correct site. You can also just click the back arrow on whichever device you're using to return to the Central Libraries app. Next on the homepage options is ebooks and e-audio. At West Berkshire Libraries, we have two e-library providers for ebooks and e-audio books, BorrowBox and Libby. Each will allow you to view and borrow a selection of different titles. If you click into either BorrowBox and Libby here, you'll see some more information about the apps. The easiest way to access these services is to have the app for each e-library downloaded to your device. You can use the download links here to be taken through to the App Store on your device to install them. You can use the link at the bottom of the page to access the BorrowBox or Libby catalogues. If you have either of our e-library apps already installed on your device, and you're signed into them with the same login details you've used to access this West Berkshire Libraries app, then clicking that catalog link may redirect you to the selected eLibrary app. If not, it will open in a web browser for you to browse and explore the catalog as shown here. After ebooks and e-audio is e-magazines and e-newspapers. Again, there are two suppliers listed here, Libby, who also supply our e-magazines, and Pressreader, who supply a huge variety of newspaper titles. Clicking on either of those options once again takes you through to a secondary page where you can find out how to download those apps. You can use the download links here to take you straight through to downloading the Libby app or the Press Reader app. The links at the bottom of each page will direct you through to the Libby catalogue or the Press Reader catalogue, depending on which you've clicked. If you've got the apps downloaded and are signed in with the same login details you've used to access the West Berkshire Libraries app, you might be redirected straight through to the Press Reader or Libby apps. If not, clicking on that catalogue link will take you through to the Libby or Press Reader catalogue on a web browser page as shown here. Our next option is online resources. Listed here are all the online resources you can access with your library card. You can read a little bit about each of the options as well as how you can access them. If you click into any of these resources, you'll be redirected to the correct web page. Below online resources, there's the scan ISBN option. This is useful if you're in a library building, find a book, and would like to know more about it on our catalogue and it's also particularly useful if you're browsing in a bookshop and would like to quickly check if the library has a copy of a book in stock. If you give the correct photo permissions you can hold your camera to the ISBN barcode on the back cover of any item and it will open a record on our catalogue if we have it in stock. This cutaway footage shows you how to scan that barcode and how that listing will show in our catalogue. The second to last option on the homepage is West Berkshire Libraries. 
This gives you the location and contact information for each library in West Berkshire. If you've given the app permission to view your location whilst you're using the app, it will also tell you how far you are from a library. If you haven't given those location permissions, it will list our libraries alphabetically. If you click on any of the libraries, it will show you the contact information for that branch and also link you to our opening hours. For our mobile and at home services, if you click on that option, it will also link you to the most up to date library timetable and route. The last option on the homepage is self service. This will allow you to scan and issue books to your library account if you're in a library building. We'll have a look at this more closely in just a few minutes. Other features on the homepage include the search catalogue option at the top of the screen. This allows you to search for items by title or author's name. If you search the catalogue, you can see some more information about listed titles as well as whether or not they're available for you to loan. If you decide you'd like to reserve an item from this page, you can do that here. Let's have a go at placing a reservation without making any changes and then place a further reservation and have a look at some of the other options. If we place a reservation here, we'll keep our pickup location and library user the same. We can just tap place reservation if we're happy with both those options. Now the reservation has been placed. Next, let's also have a look for another item and explore how we can make some changes when making that reservation. This time we'll do a more general search for a book. This way you can see multiple listings for an item appear. You can select which item you'd like and then again view the information about whether or not that title is available for you to borrow. If again you decide you'd like to place a reservation, you can do that here and this time we'll change our pickup location and our library user. You can see under pickup location, it loads any library in West Berkshire. It's up to you which library you choose to collect from. You can also alter the library user to any other linked accounts you're using on this device. Once you place the reservation, you can return to the home page and click on my account. Those options will again open on the right hand side of your screen. If you go into reservations this time, you'll see that one of those options is listed under my reservations here. You can view the item, change the pickup location or cancel the reservation anytime you'd like. You can also see that our second reservation shows under the linked card we've got on this app. Again, you can view the item, change the pickup location or cancel that anytime here. Now we've had a look at reservations, let's also have a look at the last functionality on the app, which is the self-service option on the homepage. If you're in a library building, then the self-service functionality on the app will allow you to issue an item to yourself without the need to go to a staff desk or use one of our self-service kiosks. In order to have the self-service functionality working, you'll need to give the app permission to scan your location. This is so that it can verify you're within a library location when you're issuing an item. It's completely up to you whether you choose to give the app permissions. If you'd rather not, you'll be able to use every other functionality within the app, but you won't be able to use the self-service checkout. If you do decide to give permissions, it will take you through to a self-checkout screen when you open self-service. On the self-service screen, you'll see the big green checkout button to proceed with, and there will also be an option to select a user. 
if you've got multiple linked accounts, all users and all accounts that you've got loaded into your device will appear here. It's particularly important that you check which library user you're issuing an item to before you proceed with the checkout. Let's have a go at using the checkout on our main library account. Once you click checkout, you'll be taken through to the ready to scan RFID page. This is asking you to hold your device to the back of a library item where the RFID tag can be found. It's usually a small rectangle that can be located just inside the back cover of a book. If you hold your device to that tag, it will scan it and you should see the checkout proceeding. It will often show a loading screen and then you should see the title of the book being listed and a confirmation tick to say it's scanned OK. In this cutaway, you can see exactly how to place your phone or device on the back of an RFID tag. When you're scanning, try and keep your phone or device as still as possible so that it gives the app a chance to scan the item without it being interrupted. Once it's scanned successfully, you can press finish and it will take you back to the library homepage and confirm you've had success checking out. Let's also have a go at issuing on our secondary account. If we go through to the checkout page and select our secondary account, you can see that once again, checking out will take you through to the scan RFID page. On the cutaway this time, you'll see once again how you can scan an item. You should be able to hold your device either to the back of a book or open the back cover to scan the RFID tag directly. As long as it's scanned the rectangle tag, it will list the items and you'll be able to click finish when it's successfully confirmed the issue of your items. As you can see on the screen here, it will once again list the title and give you a confirmation tick when there's been a checkout success. Once you've got some active loans on your account, or you've just checked out an item through the self-service, you can open My Account. Again, this will appear on the right-hand side of your screen, and if you click into Loans, it will show you what active loans you have at the moment. The ones listed under On Loan at the top of the screen will be the ones for the central account you're using on this device. If you've issued or got items on loan to the secondary linked account you've got for this device, they will appear further down under the name for that separate library card. This page is also where you go to renew any items in the app. You can click on any item individually to renew it or tap select to click multiple items. You can also use the renew all button to renew all items across all linked accounts on the device. If any items can't be renewed, it will let you know and you'll either get a green tick or a red cross appear to show whether it's been successful or not. You can also verify the due back date underneath the title and author's name for any item listed on this page. That brings us to the end of this video. We hope you've enjoyed this look into how to use the West Berkshire Libraries app. If you have any problems using the app, please do email us at library at westbarks.gov.uk or speak to a member of library staff when you next visit. <music>